I'm Emma Tversky for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update into the coolest developer news from Google. This week, we announced the App Scripts connector for AppSheet, which now makes it possible to call App Scripts code functions from a no-code AppSheet app. This greatly extends the abilities of AppSheet apps by letting them access the power that App Scripts provides. For example, you can now use AppScript to automate workflows with Google Workspace using Workspace APIs for Drive, Docs, Sheets, and Admin SDK, and more, as well as other Google services like YouTube, Google Analytics, and BigQuery. Learn how to get started along with some inspiration from samples and real-world examples now on the Google Developer blog. Thanks to artificial intelligence, speaking out loud has become a primary way of not only communicating with machines, like when you ask your smart speaker about the weather, but also enriching human interaction, such as generating captions while you watch this video. Google Cloud's new speech AI guide helps explain the most interesting and practical applications of speech technology and the Google Cloud tools that make building these sorts of apps possible. Learn about the APIs that make it possible to build built-in video captioning, real-time captioning, and translations on video calls, natural language processing, and more, all on the Google Cloud blog. This month, Google Play, Android, and Firebase shared the latest insights on creating the best possible experience across all Android devices at the 2022 Android App Excellence Summit. Hear how Lyft, Google Maps, Headspace, and Duolingo are delivering app performance improvements, better user experience, and improved developer productivity. For a recap of all the event highlights, head to the Android Developers blog. Have you heard that the dialogue element is newly stable across browsers? The newest Chrome Developers GUI Challenges gives a foundational overview of how to build color-adaptive, responsive, and accessible modals with the dialogue element. Learn about the considerations and best practices for this GUI element by heading to web.dev's blog post. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Emma Tversky for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Uh, you, you have to stay still. <laughs> this is Basil. This is Rhubarb. Aww. Aww. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that looks so grumpy.